All right, as the kids head back to school, it's important that they are prepared for not just uh, what happens in the classroom, that's for sure. Yeah, think about maybe kids walking home, maybe riding the bus for the first time. A lot of interactions that can be intimidating, that can maybe lead to bullying. How do you address this? Kylie Cruz is joining us this morning with some self-defense strategies. We are here. Good morning, everybody, at Keene ATA Martial Arts in Glendale. We've got some kids here. They're not quite in school yet. Are you guys ready to go back to school? Yeah. Yeah. Right. They say they're ready to go back to school. They're glad summer is over, and uh, it's all about protecting yourself and making sure it's not, you know, just scare kids, but we want to empower. We are here with Master Keen to kind of talk about what you guys are doing here and how that can be applied and, and help kids all across the valley if they're ever in a dangerous situation. That's right. Uh, our Kids Empower program is about giving them the information and the tools that they need to be able to protect themselves. But the most important thing, empowering them and giving them the confidence to deal with a predator if they ever encounter one. And we have a couple of examples here. We're going to start with Alejandro. Walk me through the exercise that he is doing. Okay, so what he's actually simulating is if someone were to grab him from behind over his arms, so he can actually strike back with his elbows. He could swing back with his head and hit me in the chin or in the face, but the elbows go back into the ribs, and then he's kicking with his heels back into the shins, and if I were to lift him up, okay, <laughs> now he could be hitting me in other places with his heels, but the elbows, and his, the goal of this is just to get me to let him go for a second so that he can get away. God. And you've been doing this for many years, and you said this really helps you feel empowered, and it all happened because of an incident with your sister. Mm -hmm. So my sister, she uh, was, she had a fight, so she came to this school because my dad saw it and it was around. So uh, he put me in the school to make sure that never happens again. And now you're a pretty tough guy, huh? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I watched you. I think you're pretty tough just seeing you and look at all that sweat. So you're working these kids out. We've got a couple other areas over here. What are these uh, guys doing? Okay, what Malik and Zane are doing is they're simulating another grab from behind, but this is where they're grabbing under the arms. So if I were to grab him under the arms, now he's swinging his elbows up high toward the head and once again kicking his legs backwards. In Once, hopes of being able to get away. Just me letting go of him long enough that he can get away. And we got time for one more. Whoa! Oh, wait. What? Oh, don't okay. watch out for me and my arms moving around. And, and we got one more exercise. This is an important one. This is a really important one because no matter how big you are, how strong you are, there are certain places on the body that, I mean, you can't really grow a muscle on your eyes or on your nose or over your ears. So the drill that we do, and it, the kids, we have a little chant that we do to help them remember it's eyes, eyes nose, nose, neck, neck, ears. So Why don't you guys show us? Ready? Okay. okay. And Go. you can walk them through it. So eyes, eyes, nose, nose, neck, neck, ears. So they poke to the eyes, they strike to the nose, they chop on the neck, and then they clap over the ears. Once again, just to get away. And this is all great information, and you're going to have a class coming up in a couple of weeks. It's on August 26th. We're going to put all the information on azfamily.com as well as our mobile news app so people can sign up. Best part of all, it's free. It is free. We do it as a community service. We do it two or three times a year, but especially at back-to-school time, make sure the kids are safe as they're going back to school. Okay, we appreciate it. We'll be back, guys, at about 9, 10 with even more your... advice from Keene ATA Martial Arts. All right, sounds good.